OK. So, so yeah, and so, so I've really found until you actually let go of what other people want you to do and you actually start acting out of what you want to do, um, your life will always be, you're always going to be a slave to other people's desires and wishes, and you're just never going to be happy. So really one of the keys is stop giving a fuck. OK. Yeah, so I think I've covered that. So I want to say, bam. OK. So the solution. So this is the main part here. What do we do? What can we do to shut up these thoughts about what other people want us to do and our ego, which is trying to protect us? What do we do? How do we live life in a way where we're going to do what we want and live our lives and not fucking let other people ruin us based on their expectations? Yes, sir. Just do it. Nike stole it. Damn. Um, sure, but let's get more specific. Now, remember what I said earlier. Ego is your best problem. So biggest problem is your ego. So any ideas? I'm going to press the button. Bam! Kill your ego! Isn't that cute? There's a dude with a knife, and it's his doppelganger, and he's dead. Ain't that crazy? That's why I did the PowerPoint. I didn't really need it. OK, so you want to kill your ego, OK? Can you guys imagine just for a second what it would be like if you shut that voice up in your head? Literally, if you, if you destroyed that voice to such a degree, you weakened it so much, where every time you want to do something, you just looked at it, hey, that girl's really beautiful. And the voice was like, eh. And you're like, all right then, I'm just going to go and talk to this girl. If that voice just was, wasn't there or was so fucking quiet, it just didn't affect you. Can you imagine what life would be like at that point? Anybody? Ever seen that movie Limitless? It would be that. It would just be you, like, I want to do that. I'm going to do that. And you just, you would do it. You wouldn't, you, there's nothing there in your head going, no, I don't do that shit. OK? It would be crazy. Welcome to Sasha Day Game Land. So, how to keep, how to kill your ego. OK? So, number one, stop avoiding awkward situations. OK? Everyone is terrified of awkward situations, being judged. Oh no, what will people think about me? What will people think about me if I do something and it doesn't work out? Okay, so you gotta you gotta actually get into them. Start seeking out awkward situations instead of avoiding them. So, some examples, and this is kind of this is what I do. So your brain says this could be awkward. You should say, "Great, let's do this. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be hilarious." Okay, so examples. These are just this is just for me really to, to remember my stuff. So. A classic example I've seen in like TV shows, movies, uh, you know, there's an awkward teenage guy, right? And he's in a store and he's like 16, he's going to have sex for the first time. And, he, and, he, and he's got condoms and he's really nervous because they're, you know, and he's like, yeah, I've got my banana and some food and these condoms. And he puts them down. And of course, what's going to happen? The girl's like, OK. And she scans them. And she's like, oh, this doesn't work. Hey, let me just get a price check. He's like, no, no, I'll just pay whatever. She's like, no, that's fine. Can I get a price check on condoms here? Uh, we, got a, we got a pack of condoms here. We get a price check. And the guy's just fucking like, ah, and he wants to die. I get into that situation on purpose. As much as I can, you should be seeking out that situation because if you can be there and just be like, that's right, I'm buying condoms, everybody. I'm going to have sex. Pretty awesome. If you can get to that point and not give a flying shit about anything and recognize this is hilarious, I really don't care, uh, you will have social freedom and you will destroy your, your, you'll destroy your ego and be able to do whatever you want to. So, so that's one classic example just uh, you know, to put out there. So, so you guys should be looking for situations. If you have any approach to anxiety with girls, if you have social fear, you should be looking for situations to, to, for it to get awkward. So on an elevator, OK? So who's got their thinking cap on? What can you do if you're on an elevator and you want to test this and you want to make shit awkward and stop giving a fuck what people think? What can we do? Uh, fart. fart. Yeah, eat some beans. Have, a little, have one of those fart bags up against the wall and just start making farting sounds. Go, I'm really sorry, everybody. I just, I'm really sorry. Um, you know, if somebody, if, uh, when the door is opening and someone's going to come on, stand right in front of the elevator. And they open and go, Whoa! and scare the shit out of them. OK? You can, you know, whatever. Just be, do awkward shit. Face, face the wrong way. Like, everyone's facing the front, face the wall. Just stand there like this, you know? And people will be like, what the fuck's this guy doing? OK? It's hilarious, and people are going to judge you and think you're fucking weird, and you're going to be like, yeah, cool. OK? Um, OK, so buying things in a store, OK? Don't just go in and buy your stuff. Look for opportunities to create social tension. Okay. So, for example, I'll, I'll go into a store, and first of all, I'll always flirt with whatever girls there. I'm always going to have fun. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to mess around and be like, I know you're working, but uh, I think we should 
I think we should go on a date right now. Let's run away together. And she's like, no, I can't. I'm working. But I'll, but I'll, just, I'll do silly things. I like to steal stuff a lot. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll literally fill up my pockets. I'll take, I'll take chocolate bars and like, you know, can, like I'll, I'll stuff cans of tuna in my underwear. I'll just literally steal all the stuff, everything I can. And then I'll walk up to the security guard. I'll go, hey, man, listen, uh, I got a confession to make. Um, I was going to steal this chocolate bar. And I feel really guilty. I'm really sorry. But I, I can't go through it. So I just want to give it to you. He's like, OK, cool. And I'll be like, yeah, by the way, uh, I also stole all this stuff here <laughs> and here. And I'll, just, and I'll just start unloading. Right? All this stuff. I'll just give him everything I have. Like literally, and he'll just be standing there with all this stuff, and I'll be like, I'm really sorry, bye. And I'll, and I'll walk out and he's just standing there just going, uh, uh what the fuck? What do I do here? Okay? It's awesome. Once in a while nobody knows that I have this stuff and I just walk out. But anyway, usually I don't do that. <laughs> usually, come on, the security sucks. Okay. Uh, so talking to strangers, okay? So any opportunity where you can talk to strangers and you can be a bit of a weirdo, fucking do it. Stop avoiding social awkwardness. Embrace social awkwardness. So, um, so if I'm walking up to people, I'll walk up to people some, on, sometimes on the street, or they'll walk to, up to me. Maybe someone will be asking me for directions, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, sure, I can help you with that. But quick question, though, and I'll just ask them something. I'll just be like, yeah, I'm actually just trying to get a, a gift for my ex, and I'm, I'm just not sure uh, what, what I should get her, because I don't want her to think that I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to get, like, like win her back or anything. She's, we're just friends and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, do you have any, I, any idea uh, what I should get her? Because I don't want to go like, too far. I don't want to get her. Oh, you're not, you're not really sure? OK, it's all right. Well, thanks anyway. Thanks for it to me, too. <laughs> thanks for your help. Well, what did you want? OK? So I'll start picking my nose and eating it. I'll start wiping it on my shirt and all this kind of stuff. And people will, be, will look at me like I'm an absolute freak. Couples are the best. Couples are really funny. He'll never hit you, but they're looking at each other like, oh my god, really great. OK? So I'll do stuff like that. Um, you know, I'll walk up to people, and I'll just be like, you know, whatever. I can, I can go on. We'll, we'll do some more of these in, in a minute. Um, yeah, a good one is, is walking up to people and just being like, hey, you, like, you, you guys look like, a, like you know the area. Um, I'm just wondering, um, do, yeah, do, you, do you guys know where I can go to get tested for um, <laughs> sexually transmitted diseases? <laughs> yeah, because it, it really burns when I pee. <laughs> you don't know. It's, it's, it's cool. I'll, I'll ask someone else. <laughs> Just, just walk away really slowly. Okay, so awkward. They're just gonna be like, this guy's fucking weird. What a fucking weirdo. Okay, but it's fucking great because it, first of all, you're gonna start having a great time and, and have fun and realize that oh yeah, all these people think I'm an asshole and it's okay and it doesn't matter. And when you and you get to that point in life where you just accept that yeah, I'm kind of a dick. You know, I fuck around with people. People think I'm weird. And you just go yeah, I'm okay with that. Your whole life changes because you stop worrying about what the fuck people think about you, which has been holding you back since you were, you know, four years old. As soon as you realize you, that you're a human being, that you're conscious. As soon as you had consciousness, you basically start worrying about what everyone thinks. Fuck them. Okay, so, so how to kill your ego? Uh, just some baby steps for people who, who, you know, who could use them for babies. Uh, Steve Martin said half the battle is just showing up. Okay, and that's true. So if you're, if you really are suffering for social fear. Um, just go. Just leave the house, man. Seriously. Step one, leave the house. Go out. Go anywhere where there's human beings. It doesn't matter. Go to a salsa class. Go to a yoga class. Go to a Starbucks. Um, you know, go to uh, anything. It doesn't have to be like a huge party with millions of people. Just go anywhere. Go to a bookshop where there's like one person in the aisle and just stand around. Okay? But just go somewhere and just get comfortable showing up. Just get comfortable going out anywhere where there's people. Okay? That's step one. And the next step is just get comfortable saying hi. That's it. Just saying hi will change your entire life. Just say hi to people. It doesn't mean you have to have a conversation. It doesn't mean you have to have sex with them. It doesn't mean you have to do business. It doesn't mean anything. It just means you're saying hi. Get out of the house and start saying hi to people. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Good afternoon. How you doing? Okay. Just by getting the fuck out there and saying hi to people, and like five people a day, you're being more social than 99% of people who don't really do that. They just do their thing. They, they meet with their people. They will meet one new person, and that was their day. Okay. So. And just a little cheat I have, um, having default social responses can be really, really useful, especially, especially if you're starting out and you're not used to going out there and, and, and meeting all these new people. So, I'm, it's, so it's kind of like a chess game. It's like being one or two moves ahead, or hopefully more. So even though I really preach like be natural and just have fun with girls and blah, 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 it's totally cool when you're starting out just have a couple of default fun things to say. So I thought I'd share some of my ones I came up with just because they might be useful. OK? So you look interesting. Will you be my friend? OK? This is a great thing to say. It's really just basic, but it's, it's also the delivery. You know, it's walking up and like, hey, you look interesting. Will you be my friend? That's it. It's the, deli it's the delivery. OK? But it's a great, friendly thing. And somebody might be like, OK, well, why do I want to be your friend? Because I'm awesome. What's your name? It's a really easy way to start a conversation. 
Okay, let's look at a couple of fun ones here. Uh, this is a great line. This is awesome. This is just a silly thing to say. I'll be anywhere I anywhere I'll be where there's any kind of attention, and people are kind of like, you know, you could be at a massage place, you could be buying something, whatever it is, and I'll just look at someone, I'll make eye contact, and I'll just be like, I just come here for the music. Okay? <laughs> Great. People always smile at that. It's 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 wonderful. Okay. Hi, what's up? I'm just trying to stay out of trouble. I usually fail. Okay? Really, really simple. Hey, how's it going? Hey, nice to meet you. Oh, what am I at? Oh, nothing. Just trying to stay out of trouble. Usually I fail. Okay? Very, very simple. Making fun of yourself a little bit. Great, great thing to say. Okay? You're cute. Let's run away to Barbados together. No. All right. How about a cup of tea? Okay? So again, this is awesome because you're, you're, you're immediately kind of being fun and playful, but it's okay. You're obviously expecting it. No, she goes, no, you go, all right, how about a cup of tea? And you're, you're just kind of downgrading and having fun with it. This is awesome. This will get you just walking up to girls and saying anything like this. Hey, you're cute. Do you want to be my girlfriend? No. All right, how about, uh, how about we just talk for two minutes? All right. Whatever. Uh, how about just a 10 second conversation? All right. Is, is great. This will get you so far in life, just walking up to people and saying some, some, something fun like that. So have a few of these. Make up your own. Just sit down and be like, all right, what's a few standard things to, to, to start out with and have fun with? And, and you're away. For, well, I'd say many things, but destroying your fears as a man. If you have trouble approaching, meeting women, or working through some issue in your life, Sasha Daygame is the man to talk to. Come on stage, my man. Let's right. do it. Awesome. Listen to that. And so, yeah, there's many paths, but try and pick the path that's going to serve you in the long run. He goes, no, all right, forget the baby. How about a date? We'll start slow, OK? Simple, effective, <laughs> great. OK, so this is, this is huge here. I, lo I love this. This is like one of the most important things I've been teaching for years and years and years and years and years. And people used to have, they'd pay a lot of money for this, so pay attention. <laughs>